And where are you sneaking off to? Looking for me? Are you sure about that? You looked more like you were tiptoeing quietly, like a super guilty person. I don't know, you'd have to tell me. Trying not to wake me up. You succeeded in that. Yep, I was already awake. <laughs> Did I scare you? I thought you'd seen me on the sofa. Or would see me eventually. <laughs> Are you that tired or that drunk? <laughs> Both. I can see that. And at least you're honest. <sighs> Get over here already. You really didn't see me. True, it is a bit of a nest, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I made it all by myself. Do you like it? <laughs> Hi. It is a nest for two. Hmm, but I wonder, who shall I invite to join me? Hey, I'm just kidding. Of course it's you. Nope. Nobody else has permission. Or authorization. This is all just for us. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? You would. Well, I can't argue with that, can I? Uh-uh. Why would I argue with you? We just got settled in. I had a generally uneventful evening. So you had just gone out and I'd made a quick dinner and I was in the mood to watch something but nothing too long so I just put on some YouTube. <laughs> Felt a bit weird eating so formally by myself. <laughs> All my table manners thrown out of the window. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm sure you'd like that very much, actually. You might be the wrong person to ask, especially right now. Nothing, nothing at all. But yeah, I got the blanket out and the throw and some pillows and made a fluffy, floating, soft piece of heaven for myself to eat in. I got really sleepy pretty quick after that. Hmm... I think I fell asleep about two hours ago. I know, I didn't mean to fall asleep on the sofa. It just sort of happened. I mean, look how lost we are. Mm-hmm. There's no escaping the sofa now. <laughs> you came to rescue me, and now you're stuck with me too. Not too bad, though, is it? <laughs> mm-hmm. I did miss you. Did you have fun tonight? Yeah? Didn't get into too much trouble, I hope. I would not put you past it. I'm glad you had a good time. How much did you drink? <laughs> Why do I have a funny feeling it was maybe a little more than that? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so that is a definitely then. And how do you feel? Mm, I should get you some water. Not right now. Okay, but promise me you'll drink some water in a bit. And tell me if you start to feel unwell or sick. Okay? Yes, my love. I'll look after you tonight. Mm-hmm. I'll look after you every night. If looking after entails being silly, lots of food, and even more cuddles. Did I forget something? No, I could never forget that. Kisses are a permanent fixture in our lives. There is no budging them whatsoever. They are non-negotiable. <laughs> You want to negotiate more? Getting a little cheeky, don't you think? Go on then, let's hear what you have to say. 
What else would you like part of our arrangement? Oh, that sounds too formal now. Okay then, what would you call it? <laughs> Super sexy relationship. Gosh, you're so silly when you're drunk. I love it. And you're not wrong. We are super sexy together, aren't we? No doubt about it. Oh, yeah. I nearly forgot what we were talking about. You distracted me with your wandering hands and your hugs. Mm-hmm. I'm just that easily distracted. Hmm. I'm just wondering how we can sweeten this pot of sexiness. <laughs> you first, what are you thinking of? Because you clearly have something on your mind, or else you would have forgotten what we were talking about by now. Oh, but you are that drunk, my darling. <laughs> we should plan more. Like what? Weekends? We could do something like one weekend a month we could go away somewhere. One weekend we could do something locally. And on another we could do some fun things around the house. <laughs> yeah. And those are fun things. But other fun things too. Yes, there are other things. Don't you try to sidetrack me. Oh, I see you right through it. <laughs> I agree with you, but I still see through it. Other stuff like picking up a new hobby together. Oh, I know. We could start a home DIY project together. Yeah, I've wanted to replace the bookcases for a while now with something sturdier. You know, made of real wood. Not the chipboard stuff that they use. <laughs> no, I won't make you do everything. Well, I would need your help with the cutting tools. Because they're loud and scary. And not to mention, you actually know what you're doing. I have used them in the past. And that's why I have a healthy fear of them. And... I don't know if you'll trust me because I'm a bit of a cowboy builder. <laughs> Only when it comes to tools though. Always looking for shortcuts. Babe, you've clearly forgotten the sunglasses incident. Don't you remember? I couldn't wait to try them on. And I couldn't get the tag off. And the only thing that was at hand was the small handsaw. Yeah. I learned a lesson in patience that day. Will you teach me how to use it safely? Hmm, I'd like that. It would be nice to have things that we've made together spotted around the house. Oh, I know. I have an epic idea for the bookcase. If we build them big enough, we could have the ladder that slides across it. Come on, you have to admit, that would be so cool. And, you know, I am a little short, so it would be a huge help. <laughs> okay, I'm not that short. But it would still look amazing, right? True, that only accounts for three weekends out of four. What would we do on the last one? You already know. Shopping. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> no, no, no. We can't go back on it now. We need at least one lazy weekend. Where we do absolutely nothing. And just recharge in one another's company. Yep. Yeah, super lazy times together. Me. I feel fine. I really am wide awake. I've had a nap, and that definitely gave me an energy boost. But are you not sleepy yet? I thought all my talking would knock you out pretty quickly, but you've surprised me. Mm-mm. 
It wasn't a trick to get you to sleep. If I wanted to do that, I would play with your hair. And the back of your neck. <laughs> Does that tickle? How are you so ticklish when you're drunk? You are, and I love it. Because normally you try to get me back. Yeah, when you're sober. So, when you're drunk, I can tickle you with zero repercussions. You can try to get me back for it later, but the best thing is, you always forget. <laughs> oh yes, of course. I'm sure you'll remember it this time. Absolutely positive. I'm not being sarcastic. How about if you don't remember, I'll remind you. Does that sound okay? I think that's fair. And I'm definitely not going to let you forget about our plans for the weekends. I'm so excited for the bookcases. Mm-hmm. I'm super excited. I can't wait to get my hands dirty with you. <laughs> Come on, sleepyhead. Let's get to bed. Before... I just fell asleep on the sofa. I guess I didn't want to go to bed without you. I know, I said I wouldn't wait up like last time. I was so sleepy the day after. The sofa is not bad. I fit perfectly on it. It's more or less as bad a bed can be. Let's grab the blankets and pillows. Come on. I'll tell you what. You head to the bathroom, and I'll get the bed nice and warm. Okay, quick, quick, get in before it gets cold. Mm. I've put some water on your bedside table, along with some painkillers. Just in case you want them in the morning. No precaution, that's all. Mm-hmm. Just looking out for you, babe. You know I do. <laughs> babe, it's time to sleep. Yes, it is. That's why we came to bed. I'm aware there are other uses for the bed too, like late night talks, or Sunday morning pillow talks, what else? Beds are perfect for reading books, or nice and cosy, uh huh, they are good for spooning too, I'll give you that one. What else is there? Oh, I know what you mean. We could hide under the covers, uh-huh, in the dark, of course, and tell horror stories by torchlight. <laughs> How are you not tired? I've had a nap, and I'm more than ready to sleep again. Yeah, I just want to snuggle up with you and tickle your neck. Okay, okay. I won't get you riled up. I'm sure you'll get your revenge in the morning. If you remember. I kind of hope you do. But babe, wake me up if you feel unwell, okay? That's why I'm hugging you like this. So that I'll know if you try to sneak off without telling me. No, that's not the only reason I'm hugging you. How could I not hug you? Look at how perfectly we fit together. Hey, behave. Close your eyes. It's sleepy time now. Mm. Sleepy fun times. But all of our sleepy times are fun. Mm hmm. Yeah, my eyes are closed. And yours should be too. You do know that I can tell when they're open, 
You're not as sneaky as you think you are. Uh uh, I'm on to you. Well, the biggest giveaway is the fact that you've been playing with the lace bow on this for the last few minutes. Oh, my bad. It's muscle memory, huh? Close your eyes. We'll test out your muscle memory in the morning. <laughs> 